Well, we got better guys. When you look at our guys, you know, I, what I wanted to see is could we put together a couple halves where I thought we played extremely hard, you know, and I, and I think we did, you know, I, I, in these last couple of games, what well, these first couple of games, the good thing is we've been able to show our depth, but I also have been able to get our young guys some playing time. And, and I saw a couple of guys get better over the last couple of days. I'm a little shocked that none of you guys congratulated Manny Bates on his career high with two assists. Um, and his career low with one foul. Um, shocked, you know, especially you, Jonas. I would have thought you would have jumped in on that. Uh, some guys did some really good stuff. Uh, I thought Jericho uh, got going and made some shots. I thought Devin, even though he wasn't the hot man tonight, I thought he played great, made some good passes. And Cam Hayes had a really good game as a young fella. And, you know, obviously, you know, having six assists and no turnovers. And it was good for us because we had a chance in this tournament to play against a team who played a Princeton uh, offense on offense. We played against a little zone. So we were able to play against a different, different type of stuff that we'll see in our league. So questions? We'll start with Andrew. Kevin, you mentioned Cam Hayes. Uh, what have you seen from him in these first two games? I mean, he's been able to get out there and make an immediate impact for you guys. Andrew, I've been I've been tough on him. And sometimes I, I ask myself, should I be tough on him because he's a freshman? But I need him and, he, and Shaquille to grow up and even the other guys. But if anybody, Cam and Shaquille both have to play. And so, you know, he's getting better. He's handling it. You know, he's not sensitive uh, as a lot of the freshmen would be when you jump on him. He's moving on to the next play. You know, it was a stretch in the game where he, he kind of took the game over and made some great plays. And and that says a lot about him. But he's maturing in front of us. He's going to be a really good basketball player. I've taken it slow with him. He's had the opportunity, you know, because he's played well in practice. He's had the opportunity where I could have started him. But I've also wanted him to see how the game flows before I put him in the game. He had a much better game with his shooting tonight than he did on Wednesday. Do you think that was a confidence thing of seeing the first one go in and just kind of seeing him go in over and over for him? I think it's. I think the first game was his first game. You know, it's as I said before. Unfortunately, you don't have. We didn't have scrimmages at exhibition, and you know, when you look around the country, most of these freshmen have struggled. You know, it's some guys who played well, but that that was his first college game, and. It's not the college game that he dreamed of also, you know, you know, he's thinking about running out at PNC with, you know, 20,000 people. And so that's an adjustment and taking the fact that he's young and just kind of used to get used to everything. But I think he settled in. And, you know, the great thing about these guys on their, on his team is when they don't play well, because they're such competitors, they want to come back and play well. So I thought Cam did the same thing. And then Jericho also. Jonas, you can go ahead. Coach, can you talk about what your team has done well on the uh, the defensive side of the floor for the last two games? Of course, to force so many turnovers and, and get so many get these two teams out of their rhythm. Jonas, we we're playing with great energy and passion, and we're and once again, I'm sorry. Against on on Wednesday, we had 54 deflections in the game. We tried to get 40 per game, and I'm sorry that um, I'll, maybe I'll get Craig to text you guys how many deflections we had in this game. But guys are playing really, really hard. And I'm basing their minutes on how hard they play on the defensive end, not how many shots you make. And I think that's helped. And, you know, we're doing a better job of communicating. We're doing a better job of talking. Not that we're not, not that we're making all types of mistakes or we're not making mistakes, but I think our guys are playing and they're playing together on the defensive end as a unit. How much does the, uh, your personnel help? Because you got a rim protector and Manny and you have all these athletes who can guard 94 feet if you need them to uh, on the wing. I think I think the personnel means a lot, the versatility. You know, a lot of guys that can switch, you know, the only guy that we probably won't switch all year is, well, probably two of them, Manny and uh, EB. And those guys are capable of sitting down and guarding guys, but the majority of the roster can guard the one through four. And that makes it tough on, tough on teams because you really don't get a screening advantage. My, my last question, is it a situation where you know how in, in football they'll say early on the defense might be ahead of the offense. Um, maybe it's because the offense is, didn't have any scrimmages, they didn't have any exhibitions, they're still trying to find their flow. But defense is just, you know, talking and energy. Is it a situation where the defense is ahead of the offense, would you say? 
Yeah, I, I don't know. It's hard for me to say that because I think we scored 95 and 86 points. And I think some programs would love to have that on the first two games they play. Um, our offense, I think our offense is doing fine because we have some older guys. I think when the younger guys come in the, in the game, the offense doesn't flow as well. So they may be behind a little bit, but I think our veterans are doing a good job. Justin, you can go ahead. Hey, Coach, congrats on the win tonight. You went with uh, Jericho Hellams in the starting lineup over Devin Daniels, and, you know, Daniels had the career night on Wednesday. I'm just curious to know kind of your thought process on that. Was it a matchup thing? Were you just being a little experimental there? What was, what was the decision there? No, I think he was 30 seconds late for a film. And that's not the culture that we got here. You know, we, um, you know, everybody's held to the same accountability. If you can have 40, you're going to be early. And so um, that's just the way I've always been. And I don't, I don't know, I'm exaggerating maybe 30 seconds, maybe it was a minute, minute and a half. But I made the decision because Jericho worked hard, but Devin was a little late for film. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Todd, go ahead. Yeah, Kevin, nice win tonight. Uh, two games scheduled, two games played for the pack. Uh, do you feel that's a victory in itself? Todd, oh, man, goodness. Um, first of all, I, I want to thank everybody that had a hand in pulling this off. I mean, I, I put our folks in a tough situation with COVID, uh, asking them to run an MTE, you know, right over Thanksgiving break. Our women played on Wednesday. There was a game before our game. And then we played, took a day off, and obviously played again. And, you know, John Portland, Adina, all of those guys did a tremendous job. Their staff and so many people that did a tremendous job of making this thing happen. And I really want to show, shout those folks out because um, um, without them, this, this doesn't happen. I'm glad that we got a chance to play two games. I'm fortunate that we got a chance to play two games. When you look around college basketball, there are games being canceled every day. And so we're grateful and we're praying that we get a chance to play again on Monday. Um, so I think your question is unbelievable. I'm glad you asked me that because it means so much just to even have the opportunity to play. I'm still gun shy. I'm always waiting for that phone call to say that the season is over because I'm still stuck at March 11th. And so anytime, you know, someone calls me, um, even when my boss, Boo Corgan, calls me maybe even to wish me good luck, I'm saying, is he calling me, telling me the season's over because of what's going on with COVID? So I'm blessed. Thanks for the we, – we're just grateful for the opportunity. Andrew, go ahead. Kevin, I wanted to ask you about Cam Hayes again. Um, Braxton Beverly has had a really good start to the season shooting the ball. How much better does it make the offense when you have a guy like Cam Hayes who can run the point and let Braxton play in that two spot off the ball? Well, you got to love Braxton Beverly because right now he's playing like a veteran guy. He's kind of grooming guys like Cam Hayes. He's playing where we need him to play. If I need him to play the point because he's really good with the basketball, if I need him to play off the ball, he's been that guy. He's helped guys like Cam Hayes grow where we can get a couple games under their belt. And so moving forward, you can see those two guys being able to play together. Uh, reason being is because of Braxton Beverly, but I'm, I'm happy where Cam's at. I'm excited about him. He's done a good job. You know, he's taken great coaching. He's gotten better. He stays in the gym and he's going to be a really good basketball player for us. All right, last question from Rob. Yeah, just after two games, Kevin, what do you think you've uh, seen from your team? What type of growth would you like to see over the weekend heading into the William & Mary game? Rob, I, I like the way we're playing. I like the way we're playing as a unit. I like the way we've shared the basketball. We've had two games. Uh, we've got 35 assists in the last two games. Uh, we didn't turn the ball over today. I didn't like the fact I liked the fact that we had 15 assists in the first game, but we had 13 turnovers. Uh, we offensive rebounded today. I thought that was a tremendous thing. We've got better. I'm going to go back and watch the tape. And of course, um, even though we won by what, 35, you know, I'm going to find a couple of things that we got to get better at. And that's what we're going to do in the next couple of days. Great. Thank you, coach. And congrats again on the win. Thanks, guys. Enjoy your week. Listen, guys, I didn't even know it was Friday. Somebody had to tell me it was Friday. So 
Enjoy your weekend. Have a great weekend. Thanks, Kevin.